Kaizaj Tournament currently reads add 3 gold to rival, but is being changed to add 1 base attack instead. Definitely quite the change, and one that a lot of players really didn't think was needed. Now obviously this is a nerf, this card is now significantly worse than it used to be, but everyone, let's take a step back, stop throwing our memes out of the pram, and let's talk about what I think old Kaizaj was actually doing to the game. Before the patch, we had three cards that you could run in any deck that grant unconditional base attack. KGP Agent, KGP Agent, and Kaizaj Tournament. Sure, they all had downsides, but they were unconditional. They don't cost gold, they're not big creatures, you can just put them on the board, no requirements, and you get some base attack. Now, I don't think the effect of old Kaizaj was overpowered. In a vacuum, giving your opponent three gold is about equally as bad as discarding a card most of the time. No one was running Kaizaj because it was objectively better than something else or overpowered, which does beg the question, why was everyone who had it running it in just about every single deck they built? Consistency. That's why. It was effectively the third KGP agent that not everyone could have. It's not objectively better than anything else because there's nothing else for it to be better than. It's the only extra card you can craft with that function in the game, which is why it was so desirable. Of course, in Diamond Ladder, where everybody does have it, this isn't a problem. Everyone has it. But further down the ladder, this was an incredibly pay-to-win card, and according to Jagex, the most crafted diamond. Every top-tier deck you'd put KGP into, there was absolutely no reason why you wouldn't include Kaizaj as well. It went into every AP deck, every Grief deck, every 3-attack aggro deck, the list goes on and on, and all of those decks were made more consistent and stronger with the third KGP agent. And that is what was overpowered about Kaizaj, the added consistency of drawing something out of your 30 card deck that let you begin the game on 3 base attack. And I don't know about you, but it's pretty hard for me to argue that this game isn't pay to win, when all of the top tier decks, to remain competitive, have to include a diamond with a function as basic and fundamental as gaining unconditional base attack. It was boring, bad game design, unfairly locking some incredibly sought out utility behind a diamond. There's no skill here, and there's nothing interesting about deck building with old Kaizaj, it's just an auto include. I have no problems with diamonds being powerful, but they should at least be interesting, like for example, Full Darok, which is incredibly conditional, and in most AP mirror matchups can actually be quite hard to get off. Sometimes you have to plan for it cross chapters by choosing not to heal up above 15, or deciding to deliberately face tank a jad or something like that, which just might not occur to less experienced players. And that's way more interesting, right? Good game design. It actually has a condition that affects the way you play the game. Another good example is Vampire Power or Papa Mambo, which don't affect the way you play as much, but do require you to build a whole deck around them. For me, that's what a diamond should be, an interesting cornerstone piece to your deck that inspires an interesting or different way to play, and the old Kaizaj tournament was just not doing that. Recently, I started a free-to-play series on Twitch, links in the description. I planned out the deck I wanted to make, I thought it was a pretty good deck, and I was climbing very quickly once we'd made it, and I thought the deck was finished, and the only way left to upgrade it would be to save up for a diamond. Now, there were plenty of good diamonds that would have fit in this deck, but I kept returning to the idea that Kaizaj would be best, Kaizaj would have the most impact, Kaizaj would add the most consistency. Hell, I was even running a 6 gold stamina potion to kind of fill the same role. And this deck, as you can see, is kind of a Grief Ariane, similar to Grief Linza, but instead of Karam, it has Luna Spellbook into Shaman, into Earth Blast as a combo, and obviously all of the Luna Spells to deal lots of damage to them and soften them up as well for the final fight. So clearly, Kaizaj in this deck would add consistency to let me kill those 3 and 5 health creatures more easily without problems, but perhaps more importantly, it would also give it a considerable amount more power in the final fight without spending 6 gold. And honestly, Kaizaj and KGP are really the unsung heroes of decks like this, like Grieflinzer, which also has the same agenda, winning in the final fight. The point I'm making with this anecdote is that surely it would be much more fun for a new player saving up for their first diamond to pick a more interesting card. Something that was really fun, something they could build their deck around and explore the game with, and for me that's the most enjoyable thing about card games. Exploring what works and what doesn't, figuring stuff out for the first time, and Hearthstone and Chronicle, that's when I had the most fun with those games, pioneering the way in the closed betas before anyone knew anything. And I really don't think old Kaizaj encouraged that kind of exploration that really I'd like everyone to experience. So that's my first argument, the pay to win and new player experience. And whether you agree with me or not, let's now talk about 
something else, the objective implications of this change on current decks. How will this nerf affect the game as we know it? Well, obviously, we now only have two ways to gain unconditional base attack, and a third for decks that really, really want it and don't give two flying shits about what their opponent's stats are. The current AP sustain win in the final fight style decks that we're currently used to choose to mostly ignore gold gain. But now that Redbeard Frank is going to be different, which I'll talk about in another video, that might change because Vampire Power and Amulet of Fury are pretty good in Dungeoneering and I see no reason why they might not make some appearance in Constructed as well. Obviously though, the current goldless style we're used to will stick around and I suspect Kaizaj will mostly remain a staple in those decks. This is because whilst it isn't nearly as desirable as before, which by the way is another reason I think gold gaining decks stand a chance, unconditional AP is really needed to get off your feet. Our current goldless AP decks, especially without Kaizaj and without Kale and Rolo like enclosed beta, are liable to brick harder than your local builder sometimes. That is, they can draw a bunch of useless, massive cards on the mulligan that are at least very tough to kill without some base attack, or at worst are just straight up unplayable. So to mitigate that happening as much as possible, these decks will probably still at least really consider including Kaizaj to help them get off their feet in the early game. And even if they don't, by comparison, AP decks that gain gold to pay for supports will have way more consistent opening hands as there's not just three cards they're looking for, KGP, KGP, Kaizaj. But tons of unconditional gold gain in their deck as well as the KGP agents that they'd be perfectly happy ending up with in their mulligan. So there's that for AP decks, but another interesting implication of the Kaizaj nerf is that Grief Linza is now worse in the final fight, reducing the overall power level of that deck by what I think is a significant margin. But what got hit the hardest though was definitely aggro decks, especially Ariane, given all of the other nerfs as well, which I'll talk about in another video. But aggro might struggle now, especially the three attack aggro decks like Pirate Ariane and Vanescula that did partly rely on Kaizaj to consistently get to three base attack to kill all of the efficient creatures like Rebel and Alpha Werewolf, Trollchucker, Saucy Wench Deckhand, etc. Aggro decks probably won't want to run Kaizaj anymore because helping your opponent get off their feet so that they can reach into creatures like Culinaromancer and Jad that have lots of big healing effects is not something they want to do if they ultimately want to kill them. The point is, and the thing to take away from this discussion, is that all decks are now going to have to find a way around this consistency problem. If Jagex wanted a game where we all started on three base attack, they would have made one. And I guess with that change, they kind of have. <laughs> But that's not the point, and you see what I'm saying. So this change overall, making the game less pay to win, more interesting to explore and nerfing some of the current very popular, very strong decks, is definitely a good thing in my eyes. I think that this Kaizaj nerf will bring about some very interesting deck building and almost certainly inspire a lot more diversity in the cards being played, which is obviously a good thing for any card game. But that does conclude my thoughts and discussion. Thank you very much for listening. My name has been Interjection. Leave a like if you found it interesting, and do subscribe if you would like to hear more from me.